In this video we'll take a look at video streaming and more specifically the MP4 module. First of all, this module is not built by default, so it will have to be added to the install flags during the build process by setting the flag with HTTP MP4 module. Now, this module doesn't exactly enable video streaming as that would only really require serving the file. But if we take a look at the documentation, we can see what the module offers is control over streaming rate and also the streaming buffer sizes. It also enables pseudo streaming. To demonstrate this, I've added an MP4 video file to that original downloads directory. And I'll head over to my editor with the Nginx configuration file open. And first of all, I'll just define a new location for MP4 files from that downloads directory. Say location, regex modifier then matching anything ending with an mp4 file extension. Next, I'll set the root directory for this context to slash sites slash downloads and define the mp4 module inside the location block. Then to control the size of processing buffers, we can say mp4 underscore buffer underscore size four megabytes and mp4 underscore max underscore buffer size 10 megabytes. This will simply tell Nginx how much memory to allocate to processing the headers of the stream and should a larger buffer be required, what the maximum allowed buffer should be. Anything over this will result in a 500 internal server error. Now if we save this, reload the configuration file and head over to the browser, I'll navigate to that video file by going to slash bigbuckbunny.mp4 And sure enough, after a second or two, the video starts playing as expected. Of course, most modern browsers will deal with an MP4 file just fine. But in addition to controlling buffer sizes, the Nginx MP4 module also allows pseudo streaming, meaning that we can actually specify a starting time and even an ending time for this video. If I go to the URL here and specify start equals, say 15 seconds, and hit enter, this video will now start playing at 15 seconds in. So overall, a very helpful module and really a must have for any website with streaming video content.